It certainly concerns me. Um, not everyone on the conservative side of politics uh, sees it as a first order issue. Um, it is interesting that uh, the circumstances in which uh, the upper house was voted itself out of existence is really um, quite a disgraceful story in Australian political history and it's a story that ought to be more widely told and, um, and it may be that uh, you know through an ACM uh, um, public speaking competition or anyway we can ask people to look into this, um, this terrible chapter in our history. Uh, I have heard a very good uh, one of the objections to starting a um, uh, to re-establishing or reinstating the legislative council, the upper house, is that people say, "Look, we've already got too many politicians, and it's expensive, and all of that." But I have heard of a proposal which would, uh, wherein the legislative council would be composed of all the, the, the of the mayors of all the. Uh, shire councils and city councils in Queensland, they would receive some sort of uh, sitting allowance, but but really they they already receive a salary, so they wouldn't be paid any extra. There would be no additional elections for the um, you know for uh, members of the legislative council, and uh, and yet it would function in the way. Uh, uh, well, well, it meant that regional Queensland would uh, would be well represented uh, and balance perhaps the dominance of seats in the southeast corner in the legislative assembly, uh, and also it operates on a different, uh, a somewhat different electoral cycle. So it means that it's unlikely that the house controlling the lower house would necessarily have unfettered control in the upper house because that is one of the problems with in Queensland and I believe it's the same in New Zealand is that uh, when you've got a majority um, you know that's it everyone said how terrible it was that that uh, you know that Campbell Newman had 74 seats out of 83 or whatever it was but uh, but it would make no difference even if he even if he only had a majority of one, he would still have unfettered authority to pass whatever legislation he wanted.